everyone. Welcome back to Life and Style by Liz. How is everyone doing today? I just have to say that I am off of work today and it is pouring rain outside. So I was fiddling around on YouTube. I know this is so random, but it was perfect because this haul is all about Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving outfits. And I was watching this YouTuber and I will put her name up on the screen here for you guys. I believe it was Lisa Dawn or that Lisa Dawn. I want to say that's right. Anyway, she does all these videos and she makes meals from food she bought at the Dollar Tree and she made an entire Thanksgiving meal today from the Dollar Tree. We'll talk about why the tag is hanging. Calm down. <laughs> but it was really cool. So check her out. And again, um, actually, but instead of on screen, I'm going to put a link to her um, channel down in the description box below. Very, very interesting. But what I loved about her and some of you guys have said this about me, so I love it, um, is how sincere and authentic and I don't know. She was just, she seemed like a sweet person. Anyway, let's talk about the clothes. That's not why you're here, right? So I brought this dress back because I thought for sure this would be a great Thanksgiving outfit. Now, why is the tag on? Because I'm gonna take it back. Because I need an extra small. It's big on me, you guys. But check it out, it's perfect for eating. Probably could wash it and dry it and keep it. That's another idea. It is like kind of like a drop waist, but you can see how it kind of hangs on me. That's why I thought I would like it better in an extra small. It's made of a very fine corduroy. It does come in other colors. I, in fact, didn't I show it to you guys in a red and black? I'll insert a picture if I did. But it's the style. It doesn't matter what the color is. It's the style. The drop weight, nothing is constricting. You are not confined in any way. You can sit comfortably at a dinner table with nothing digging at your stomach. It was hard, you guys, but I was like, I can't show a bodysuit today. They're gonna be like, Liz, are you kidding me? Who would wear a bodysuit on Thanksgiving? Not even me. Well, probably, but. <laughs> anyway, so this one's perfect. I just paired it with the tall slouch boots in brown. Love these so much. You guys know I wear them with everything. I thought about putting tights on and I'm like, they're gonna kill me. So also next to the tights. So if you're worried about being cold, just wear like, um almost like shapewear underneath, like boy shorts maybe, and then boots. And basically your legs are covered, right? Your knees are basically just showing and you should be warm enough in that. Sometimes I wear those anyway under all my dresses just as like a security measure. <laughs> you never know if the wind blows, you're going upstairs, someone's behind you, all that stuff. So I will link some below for you. There's a new brand at Walmart. Of course, I can't think of it offhand right now, but Secret Treasures, our fave is going away. And this new brand is coming in. I'll put it up on the screen. Of course, you know I can't remember the new name. Anyway, you guys, this is the first in our Thanksgiving outfits. These are all gonna be cute, comfy, some a little dressier than others. I would consider this dressy, but cute and comfy as well. So this kind of nails all the boxes, ticks off all the boxes and requirements for Thanksgiving because let's face it, it's like the biggest meal of the year, the dessert, the pies. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so let me keep going and stop talking. When I get back though, I am gonna show you my new favorite fragrance that I can't stop wearing. You guys are gonna love it. All right, you guys, I am back. And before we get into this, probably the most comfy outfit that I'm gonna show you today, I am gonna tell you what scent I am wearing because my whole room smells good, you guys. I am showing you my latest and greatest pick from Dossier. If you do not know already, I am a Dossier ambassador and I absolutely love all of their designer inspired or as I like to say, designer dupe scents, you guys. So this one is called Floral Rhubarb. I'm smelling right now something peachy. There's a little musk undertone, which I love if I had to pick, even though it's called Floral Rhubarb, I do like a musky scent a little better. Um, but let me read to you the notes. You're gonna get uh, rhubarb, orange blossom, peach, daffodil, milky accord, uh, blonde woods and musks, and a few others, even cedar wood is in here. But Dossier is fantastic because you can purchase from them risk-free. The fact that they're dupes for designers is already the best part of this, right? So you're getting a designer dupe for less than half the price in most cases. I'm not sure how much uh, Mark Jacobs Daisy is, which this is inspired by, but this one here was only $29, you guys. I also have a discount code Life and Style by Liz 10 that will get you 10% off. In addition to that, in the month of November, they are running all kinds of Black Friday specials. I'm going to put them up on the screen here for you. 
You will save money the more you purchase. So gift giving time, get it, you guys. Get these um, designer dupe perfumes and colognes. So this one I absolutely love. I've been wearing this one lately. Usually when I show you guys one, I wear it for a few days if I'm not already wearing it daily so that I can tell you more about it. This is just a fresh, clean scent. Well put together person would be wearing this. That's kind of how I feel smelling this. I feel like smells are more of a feeling than anything. Dessier also carries men's fragrances, you guys. One of my faves is, and this is going back to when my husband and I were first dating, a little nostalgia here for you, but he used to wear Aqua Di Gio all the time. I still love the scent. And if you don't know what it smells like, then go ahead and order this for your husband or boyfriend or whomever based on my recommendation. But Dossier does make aromatic watermelon, which smells identical to the Aqua Di Gio that my husband used to wear. And I love it. So again, check out the website. Make sure you use my discount code and check out all of their Black Friday deals. You guys will be glad you did. And if you're not happy with what you get, don't forget, risk-free, send it on back. All right, you guys, let's get into my outfit because you guys are gonna be comfy and cozy in this one for sure. I promise you, you will get as many helpings of stuffing or you people or girls in the South, uh, call it, what do you guys call it? Dressing. We say stuffing, you guys say dressing. It's cute, there's a lot of differences. I, I appreciate all of them. Anyway, you guys, check this outfit out. I am wearing a flare leg, high-waisted leggings, Sofia Vergara, I will show you a picture right there of them so you can get a feel for what I'm wearing. Yes, I'm wearing athletic leisure wear on Thanksgiving. I'm wearing just a cami from this five pack of camis, which I recommend to you. Probably I've been doing it, I think for two years. But what's changing this outfit from a leisurely outfit is, well, number one, I paired it with these booties. Let me show you. These are by Time and True. I showed you these, I believe last week. They have that cute little square heel and that really pretty um, trim in the contrasting color. It's kind of like a brown or tan. So putting these on now, you can take them off when you get to uh, whomever's house you're going to. So don't worry about that. But pairing all of that with this sweater and jewelry really dresses the outfit up. It allows you to be comfy and cute. This sweater is, I believe, from Amazon. I will make sure to link it below. I'm wearing it in a size small. Check out the crochet. I've shown this to you before, but not for quite a while. And I absolutely love this one. It's really got a dressy look. It accentuates your waist. Don't worry about feeling like your waist is tight or something. It's not. You're gonna put this way up high and your actual tummy's down here, covered by everything where it should be, right? So here is the full look of the outfit. And like I said, no one will know that you're wearing leggings and just a stretchy cami. It's the sweater that's gonna make it appropriate for Thanksgiving. By the way, my jewelry is the same as last seen, except for I did add my sideways gold initial necklace. All right, let's get to more comfy Thanksgiving outfits. All right, next outfit is here. And of course I'm wearing brown. Does anyone else equate brown with Thanksgiving? I don't know what that is. It's just the color of Thanksgiving, right? Brown, orange, maybe a dark mustardy yellow or something. I don't know. Anyway, you guys, same jewelry kind of. I did switch up my ring and bracelets though, actually different jewelry. The only thing that's the same is the necklace. Um, diamond long gold earrings, beaded gold bracelets. And then this ring is part of this trio of rings. So I'll make sure to link it below. I'm wearing this cute cropped ribbed, Johnny Collar I call it, sweater. And this is from H&M. Now, you guys are like, how are you wearing this crap, blah, blah, blah. Well, let me show you. I have on the Express wide leg pin tuck trousers. I'm wearing them in a size four and they fit me very well. And I have plenty of room in there. There is stretch as well in these trousers, which I love. Wide leg, stretch, the whole thing, a little looser fit. So I would say, you know, order true to size, but you're gonna end up having some room like I do. I love the fact that this, because they are a high waist or high rise, the sweater doesn't have to be tucked in. When I think of eating a lot and being, or feeling confined and not being able to eat a lot, I think of, oh, having something tucked in, it's taking up so much room. This meets perfectly at the waist. I'm showing you how cropped it is, but it really isn't with these pants, pockets on these. These pants you can wear to work, you can wear to events. I really want to pair these with a black tube top and a blazer. I think that would be so cute. You know, I will eventually do that when I get a chance. But I feel like this outfit is perfect for Thanksgiving. You are dressy, 
but you're comfortable still, you guys. You're appropriate in color because brown is Thanksgiving. I don't know why I keep saying that, but you know. So here's the back. I feel like I forget to show you guys the back of things. It's a little longer in the back on me. And just so super comfy. I think you guys will really like this one. Did I show you my shoes? Okay, so these shoes are super comfy as well, especially if you are going to a home where you're slipping off your shoes right on and off no zippers and buckles and all that stuff so i will link these for you as well these are from amazon oh and i just looked down and saw a cute purse that will match okay i am filming a walmart haul and this will probably be in it but i'll show it to you now because it does it matches perfectly how cute is this you guys tag is still on yes this is a little front pocket in fact i think this was delivered today <laughs> crazy right it's got a little front phone pocket and it's a cross body and it links the black and the brown together. Love this look. How's that, you guys? I should have had this in my video that I just did over on Instagram. I'm not gonna tell you again, but you know, you might wanna tell me over there. So this is a really cute look and very comfy and casual and perfect for Thanksgiving, I promise. I would like some pie right now, pumpkin pie. Comment below, what's your favorite kind of pie, you guys? I've had this conversation with multiple people <laughs> recently. I do love pumpkin pie. I do. I actually make a pumpkin cheesecake. I make the Paula Deen pumpkin cheesecake. You can Google that. Very simple to make and it's become a tradition. I would say I've been making it for probably at least 10 years. So that's the only pie I make. And then someone else brings like an apple pie. Believe it or not, will I eat an apple pie? Yes. Is it my favorite? No, not really. I love peach pie. I know it's unseasonal right now, but peach pie is my favorite. All right, let's get to the next outfit. All right, guys, I just put this one together last minute. I was walking by my closet where I keep all of my jeans and I'm like, oh, I didn't include any jeans. You know, I'm one to wear jeans to any occasion. <laughs> you guys know I love jeans. So I'm like, oh, I have to make this work because you guys, the jeans I chose, grab my purse here. Yes, we're gonna talk about this purse in a second. Have an elastic waist. Thank you, Sophia Vergara. Now, the actual pair that I am wearing are last year's jogger style denim jeans by Sophia. Uh, I will be linking this pair, which I kind of think they're better this year. So they're a tiny bit different, but let me back up and show you first. Let me go over my jewelry. I did add my little boho bracelet to lighten things up. See, I'm not wearing brown or black. And one of my stone rings from this trio of stone rings. And what else am I showing you? Um, I did put on my octagon, gold octagon earrings. Again, lazy, same necklace. <laughs> but anyway, check out this purse, you guys. I'm in love. There I said it. I have to say it at least in one scene of my videos. It's by Time and True. It looks like a designer purse, if you ask me, and it feels so buttery soft, you guys would not believe it. It does have a snap button back pocket. I am keeping this one. I still have the tag on, on it. I need to take it off. Look, it has double compartments. It's got a zip pouch in the middle. It has the two compartments in here that I love. I feel like all purses have those. Now, I just totally am in love with this. Get in there for now, Peg. You're coming off, I promise. So I thought the entire look was gorgeous and I paired everything with these booties. You guys have seen these a million times, but I love them, you guys. Look at my hair, it's crazy. Look. They're the cutest, they're not too high, they're so comfy, they have that memory foam insole that Time and True is so good about. Is it insole or footbed? Comment below if you know. You know I don't. Oh, and the shirt, how could we not go for this shirt? Okay, this is by H&M, which you guys wanna crack right up. I just now, something's, hit, light bulbs are going off left and right with me right now. I just realized how to wear it. I used to wear it where it was practically off my shoulders and then I'm like, I think it's supposed to, come in more. Yep, it is. <laughs> so I'm now wearing it appropriately how you're supposed to be wearing it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the vanilla color. And of course, I love the way these sleeves go. So one look again, I'd like to show you the complete look again. This is a great Thanksgiving day outfit, especially if you're doing like a Friendsgiving or something like that. It's kind of casual, but oh, so comfy, you guys. Here, is that not good enough for your stuffing, your cranberries? Okay, also comment below. I think this is what I was on to earlier when I mentioned my last year's Thanksgiving outfits video. We talked about what is our favorite Thanksgiving, not, not, slow down, Liz. What is our favorite <laughs> Thanksgiving food, not just pie? Wow, I can't talk. Mine is stuffing. And I also mentioned 
that I have to eat it. Every spoonful of stuffing has to be accompanied by some cranberry sauce. And when I say cranberry sauce, don't give me your homemade stuff. I don't want it. I want mine jellied and shaped like a can. Go ahead, hit me up in the comments. I know you guys have plenty to say about that. Okay, back with my fourth outfit. I think I have one more after this. You guys have seen this before. Uh, it was absolutely necessary to bring it back out because we have another <laughs> elastic waist that doesn't look it. Looks very well put together and tailored. No one will know, I promise. Check these out. Remember this outfit? You guys went cray cray over these pants and I don't blame you. I have since bought them also in white and I think I've shown them to you in a denim as well. I love them, you guys. Absolutely love these. I wear them to work. They wash up well. I steam them, put them back on. They're like brand new. Anyway, here's the back, and that's the part that we love. This waist, although it's paper bag, it is stretchy, and it comes with this belt that you can adjust very easily should you need to. How many of us have had to unbutton our pants on Thanksgiving? Come on now. We all have been there. So with this, you won't need to. You're going to have a nice stretchy waist. Just loosen the front if you need to. Also, I love this cardigan, you guys. This is also from Amazon, so I'll link it below. And you guys, uh, the pants are from Walmart. This is from Amazon. If you need to get this stuff in time for Thanksgiving, you should have no problem. Everything's in stock as far as I know. But I love the lace sleeves on this. Three quarter, my favorite. And my new thing is to wear cardigans without anything underneath, just kind of buttoned up and make them more like a V-neck sweater. And that's what I did with this. Paired it all with these Chelsea boots. Too lazy to take them off and bring them up front. So I think the outfit is absolutely complete. I'm wearing the pants in a size four, the shirt in a small. And if I forgot along the way to give you my sizes, down below in the description box, I always have the links and next to that, what size I'm wearing. Also, did add another stone ring from that second trio. Um, everything else stayed the same. I think I showed you the gold octagon hoops. I did put on my beautiful little red heart pendant, very delicate necklace, because I thought the red kind of coordinated with the red in these pants. All right, you guys, let's bring out that last and final comfy yet dressy Thanksgiving outfit. I almost said Halloween. I can't wait. I'll be back. All right, guys, I am back with my final look. I was counting. Did I have five or six? I can't remember. I'm going to have to go back and watch the footage. Anyway, yes, I brought back the brown Hashi, I think you say, shirt. I hope the link works this time. If not, it is by Time and True. It's called the Hashi shirt, and it comes in all different colors. There's a green, a black. I have the black and brown. This brown one is adorable. It goes with everything. Wearing, again, that gorgeous cross body bag with that beautiful design in the front pocket. I love the strap, it's adjustable. And I think it completes the outfit. Look what I put together, you guys. What Thanksgiving comfy haul would be complete without a pair of leggings, particularly the faux leather leggings. By time and true, they're like $15, you guys. Deal of the century, everyone should have these. If you don't, what is wrong with you? They also come in brown. You could flip flop this too. You can get the black Hashi shirt and the brown leggings. That would be cute. And then the black slouch boots. I'm wearing, obviously, the brown slouch boots. Look at this outfit, though. It looks like it was made for Thanksgiving. Walk in. Hey, mom. Hey, aunt. So-and-so. I'm here. Where's the stuffing? <laughs> for me, right? Or whatever. Mashed potatoes and gravy. All that yummy stuff. You will have all the room you need, I promise you, in these leggings. All right, you guys, that's it. This is my final look. Did I show you the back? Let me show you the back. Do my walk. That's how I do my little Instagram reels. I know, I'm very corny. What could I tell you? If you did like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and helps other people to find me. And if you've not already, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell for notifications. That way you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. Make sure you check out the description box for Dossier. Again, Life and Style by Liz 10 will get you 10% off and they have a ton of other Black Friday deals and everything will be linked in the description box below. I hope you all have a great two days and I'll see you back here on Wednesday. Bye everyone.